I'm your host, Nigel Delbert. It's time for our ministry time as we talk about the good news based off a song from Petra from 1993's album, Wake Up Call. And uh, imagine that you are the very first person to hear an incredible, life-changing, world-shaking good news. Who would you tell? Right, you probably go tell everybody. I know, like, if I hear like breaking sports news, like we got the transfer portal now in basketball. When you hear like a guy, a really good player is coming to transfer player, or maybe a really good recruit is coming to your school, you might get excited. You want to tell people. Well, how much more should we be telling the good news of Jesus and what the gospel talks about to people that don't know? You, you, so I mean, what would you be doing? So you'd let everybody know, right? You'd make a phone call, you might text a friend, you might post it on social media. Certainly, you'd be able to, to you wouldn't be able to keep the news to yourself. You'd want to share it with many people as possible. The word gospel is derived from a term meaning good story or, again, good news, which is the song and what uh, we're talking about today. Today, so we, we look at the book, when we look at the back book of Acts, going back to the beginning of the church and the early spread of the good news, the book of Acts is a close companion to the gospel of Luke, which he called my formal book, book in Acts 1.1. Biblical scholars say the Gospel of Luke and Acts were probably one work made up of two scrolls, if you look into to church history. Luke's second volume, the book of Acts, begins with Jesus' final instructions to the disciple before his ascension. Jesus spent the 40 days between his resurrection and ascension teaching about the kingdom of God. I love that period. I know a lot of people don't talk or teach about it, but I love the period where Jesus rose from the dead as we celebrated here on Easter a few weeks back. And then he, you know, spent time telling the disciples the plan and giving them the great commission and all those all this good news of things to come and how that he was alive and that the devil was defeated. He also tells them to wait in Jerusalem till the Holy Spirit is poured upon them. And he did that, and then the Holy Spirit did come, and, and the, the power of the Holy Spirit at that time too. The Holy Spirit is considered to be essential to the mission of the church, and the first disciples needed to wait until they had been clothed with power from on high, which it talks about in Luke 24, verse 49. During this waiting period, the apostles appointed a replacement for uh, Judas. As we know, Judas betrayed Jesus. And, and committed suicide shortly after. Two candidates were not, uh, um, nominated. Uh, Matthias was chosen after prayer and casting lots. The method was similar to the one used by Jewish priests to discern God's will. However, there is no mention of the apostles employing the method again with Pen after Pentecost. As, we, as we, you study the book of Acts, God... God, well, you know, if if you ever study that, it's a great book to study. Ask to God to give you insight through the works of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit also empowers us to serve God and share the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So that's a, a cool thing there. And then make it more into, into the good news. It says in 1 Peter 3.15 in the NIV version that, Put, but in the hearts receive Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to anyone who asks you to give a reason for your hope. We want to be able to get, have a reason to why we are a Christian. The good news that Jesus died and rose again for us. We want to pass it along to others and be able to minister to it. And then it says, but do this with gentleness and respect. So you always want to be respectful and gentle. You don't want to shove it down somebody's board or force them to hear the gospel. You want it to be a cool thing for them to hear and uh, whenever you live in the world each morning you wake up you're going to get bad news if you listen to the news you got bad news disease you're about disease you hear about those cops getting killed the other day here in central new york that's not cool death the narratives are are always negative yet the followers of jesus christ gives us hope his disciples in here and now are people of the gospel, and the gospel is good news, praise the Lord. The gospel is a story because God is a storyteller. We've got a story of good news in his book, the Bible. Hopefully you know the story of God. Uh, God created you in his own image to have a relationship with you, to have a relationship with us. He made us with a ca capacity to worship him and to love him with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. But relationships can never be forced, so God gave us a choice to worship him or not. And hopefully we choose to worship and follow the Lord. When we make that choice, going all the way back to the Garden of Eden, 
was to be the rulers of our own lives or to allow God to rule our lives, the choices that will still every day separate us from him and his holiness. You know, if we just stopped at what Adam and Eve did and their sin, there would be no good news, would there? Jesus had to come and die and raise, rise again for us. God did the attention of a man named Abraham and told him, uh, Abraham, I'm going to do something with you. Here's a promise. I'm going to bless all the people of the earth through you. And that meant God was going to welcome us, his creation, back into relationship with him because Jesus was going to come through the line of Abraham and pay the price of redemption and healing. Amen. Jesus was going to establish a kingdom of every single Per person in the world for all the groups who will worship him in the stories of God in the Bible. We What uh, is needed are the storytellers, storytellers to a fallen, broken world, telling a good story of the good news and assurance and transformation that Jesus brings to our lives and to the world. Right now, at this moment in history, we are in the storytelling gap. That's the gap between the time that Jesus came and did his work on the cross and the time that he's coming back to wrap things up. If you are a follower of Jesus Christ, do you know why you are ultimately alive today? It has something to do with Christians have been called the Great Commission, as it talks about in Mark eleven twenty eight, John in Mark I mean Mark sixteen fifteen and Matthew eleven twenty eight. These verses about the missionaries go into all the world and preach the gospel, making disciples and teaching them to observe all that is commanded it to you. Second Corinthians two fourteen explains that God uses us to spread the aroma of knowledge on him everywhere. Is let me ask you a question. Is Jesus Christ intersecting your life? Have you you have the good news story that you owe and you need to tell people about Christ? It's uniquely yours, everybody. Have you ever taken the time to think about the story? First Peter three fifteen instructs the follower of Jesus. If someone asks you your hope as a believer, always be ready to explain it. If you are a Christian today, you are alive in a fallen world to tell the story and the good news of the gospel. The Bible says the good news of Jesus will be a pleasant aroma to the person of God is calling to himself. It talks about that in 2 Corinthians 2, 15 and 16. Who is in your life is waiting to hear the best story ever today? So think about people that you could share the good news with them. Let them know that Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior of your life. And if for some reason he's not, feel free to, to talk to on us. Give us a call here at Church on the Rock. Our radio station is 315-838-1577 or the, the church number at 315-280-4044. Again, 315-280-4044. All right, we're, we're, speaking of the good news, we're going to play that song. Hopefully you're blessed and encouraged through that ministry time. Without further ado, here's Petra singing about it in the John Schlitt years from their album from 1993, Wake Up Call. Here is the song, Good News by Petra.